All right, so Bitcoin uh, is approaching four thousand six hundred dollars, and you know it's funny. Every time we hit new highs with um, with Bitcoin, you get all the naysayers coming out of the woodworks, and you know that it's uh, that it's in a bubble, um, that uh, it's a Ponzi scheme. Uh, you know, you hear all this stuff. You know, it, it's an incredible thing to me because, you know, how could it be in a bubble? If hardly anybody knows about it, how could it be in a bubble if hardly anybody has it? You know, the people who say this don't understand what the underlying technology is, the blockchain technology, the, de the decentralized ledger that it is worldwide is what is the greatest invention after the Internet. You know, the, if you think back to, you know, when the Internet came out, you know, in its early uh, adoption, um, you know, it, it was very archaic. It didn't have um, all the uses and companies weren't using it all, you know, that much. But, you know, how many, how many industries did it disrupt? Do, do you guys all remember Blockbuster? What happened to Blockbuster? You know, Netflix took them out. People were saying, oh, that's impossible. You're not going to be able to stream videos over internet. There's no way. What happened? How about the telephone industry? Um, you know, the, the, they said that you couldn't get, uh, you know, phone calls uh, over the internet. Now look what's going on. You know, all, these, all of these industries were disrupted um, by the internet. They just, it just ate, it, it ate them all. And if you're not innovating, and if you're not keeping up to the curve, you're gonna get eaten up too. So the, what's happening now is you're seeing the banking industry getting gobbled up by the internet. You know, the market is gonna, going to go freely to less, less frictionless, just frictionless um, uh, avenues. It's almost like water. You know, it's, it's going to find its path of least resistance. And that's what we're seeing here. Uh, we're seeing a lot of people starting to finally realize what Bitcoin is all about. And this, this is why you're seeing this price, this price jump. As more and more people are coming into the, into the, into the market and purchasing Bitcoin, you're going to see more adoption and you're going to see there's there's actually I, I read an article there's eight out of ten of the companies out there right now are looking at blockchain as a, a way that they can encompass it in their business somehow you know go back to the the early days of the internet the early days of the cell phone was it as useful back then it is now no but as innovation comes and you, you know you're you're your network centric systems out there they grow at exponential rates and that's that's happening with bitcoin too it's growing in an exponential rate and companies are using it exponentially and so you have you have this big surge and this is hopefully i can give an explanation uh, you know to my followers on why you're seeing this bitcoin jump and the craze that's going on it's disrupting banking and government because it's a, it's giving freedom to the people to transact peer to peer you're able to send wire transfers now or wire I should say you you could send money to people overseas not having to pay um $25 wire fee not having to pay 3 to 5% on the exchange rate having to wait 5 days to receive the money. You know, the younger generation, are my kids, you know, your kids, they're gonna grow up, 10 years from now, they're gonna look at the way we were doing banking and think that it's almost like, it's akin to like the fax machine now, right? Like, who sends faxes anymore, right? Everything's scanned and emailed. You know, go email. You know, what happened to, I remember, I, I'm old enough to, sadly to say, I'm old enough to remember going into the workforce when there was an email. We were sending FedEx packages so that the people would get the information the next day. And, and if you didn't send out a package to somebody that was really interested, you got reprimanded because it was called sending out wood because you were wasting paper. 
Um, I remember those days. And look at now, the, the, the information age. So easy to send, send information out in a blink of an eye. You know, things, our world is changing. This world is changing very rapidly. And don't listen to the naysayers. The, the blockchain technology is here to stay. And it's, and it's disruptive. And it's, it's creating new avenues and new ways for people to uh, create businesses. It's spurring a whole new industry. And uh, I would suggest that you get on board. I'm going to be giving a talk uh, tomorrow uh, here in Miami. If you're here, uh, I would recommend coming to, coming to see it. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's going to be uh, over 200 plus people. And I'm going to be laying out all of these, um, all of these things uh, that I've hinted on now in a more detailed fashion. And uh, I hope to see some of you there. Um, we'll make it a blessed day.